What is up guys, it's Havoc here, and here is another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use Twixter Pro and uh, some of the best settings for it. Um, I got some of these settings from one of my friends, so if uh, you don't care to check the link down in the description to his channel for some really sick edits, he's really insane, um, he's amazing, so just go check him out. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to import my clip. I'm going to use the rust shot from my private match series with Surge. I'm going to drag it down here to the composition, and I'm going to hit Control K and rename this composition to tutorial. It doesn't matter what you name it, I just name it so you know you know what composition you're using. So I'm going to go to the spot where I wanted the Twixter. It looks, it doesn't look good while he's spinning, that's why you don't see it while they're spinning, it's, it looks so really wavy and such so I'm going to do it about right here while he's reloading right in it oh my gosh excuse me alright so right there's good now I'm going to go to my effects and presets tab and search Twixter Pro and it's gonna pop up and I'm gonna drag it onto my clip now what you're gonna do is for the first thing is make sure your input input frame rate is the same as the frame rate over here so that this clip is 59.94 frames per second so I'm going to have to type in 59.94 now you're going to make sure the image prep it has contrast slash edge enhance you're going to make sure that the frame interrupt is motion weight blend the warping is inverse with smart blend and now you're going to come down here to main BG layer. You're going to make sure that says 60 and you're going to go down to the FG1 settings. You're going to make sure that says 60 as well for the sensitivity and the FG1 mate chan or whatever that channel or whatever that is. You're going to make sure that's alpha so that's probably the best Twixer settings right there so you can pause the video and copy all of this down or they'll yeah okay so I'm gonna close out of this tab and I'm gonna scroll click on my clip make sure it's highlighted and I'm gonna go down to my effects Twixter Pro and here's all this stuff right here so to find the speed you're gonna go to the output control and here's the speed so first off you're gonna go back frame or two to start it off and you're going to keyframe the speed at a hundred so that way the, uh, everything before that is at a hundred speed speed and if you don't know how to keyframe I have another tutorial on that so uh, there will be a link in the description to my last tutorial so and now you're going to go over another two frames and keyframe it at three it doesn't really matter. Well, I'm not going to use three. I'm going to use five. And I'm going to keyframe that. It didn't keyframe for me, so I'm going to have to. There we go. That, that works. And now it's going to slow mo. So for about right there, I'm going to keyframe it. Go at five. I'm going to go over another frame. Oops. And then it's going to go back. Well, yeah, you don't have to put an extra layer there or another keyframe there, but I like to do it. You know, it don't matter. So now I'm going to render this real quick. And if you guys have any questions, uh, comment down and below in the the, in the comment section. <laughs> I love it. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Or follow me on Twitter. So that's the easiest way to contact me because I'm always on Twitter. So yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and stop rendering and let it play. And there's that little wave. There you go. So if you have any questions, comment down below. Follow me on Twitter. Ask me there. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to leave a like. And I hope you all have a great day. Later.